What is this bitch trying to say? Anyway, welcome back to the Style of Beauty Doctor here on YouTube. And in today's video, this is fashion on Friday. Although it's not directly fashion, but I consider home decor being an extension of fashion. I wanted to show you guys what I got from my Ikea shop with me video that I did last week. If you didn't check that one out, check it out because there's tons of inspiration. If you're feeling like walls are closing in on you and you you know you want to go shopping but you're like mm, maybe not that video is going to make you feel as if you were in the stores browsing around and checking things out but let's see what i got keep watching so here's the thing please pay attention to the item names on the screen and if they're available online i'll link them below because I'm not trying to play myself trying to pronounce some of these Swedish names. I've been to Sweden once, and that was four years ago, and they spoke English. I didn't pick up a single Swedish word, maybe hej, and I'm not even sure if that's how you say it, but just bear in mind. Um, but first thing that I picked up, I actually picked up two of these. So this is, this one I'll actually try to say because it's, it's words just corking and that might not even be the correct pronunciation but I picked up two of these now I have a bunch of these already in the house now the reason why I like these is because number one I think these were like two bucks or something like that a piece I like these because they're really decorative like if you're having company over and you want to put water in it or what have you it's really cute um i in particular <laughs> got shamed into buying something like this um because i remember going to like a dinner party or something for like christmas holiday time or something like that and we were all supposed to bring something so if you grew up west indian like i grew up west indian i was born in queens but you know my parents are trinidadian now if you grew up west indian you'll know that when you're making certain things, um, whether it be some curry or whether it be, you know, whatever beverage or alcoholic beverage. Me, I like to bring a punch of cream when I'm coming, coming to somebody's party for the holiday time. Now, punch of cream, I'll put a link in the description box where you can get a recipe. If I wanted to describe it in a way that you would understand, I would say spiked eggnog, but it's like a thousand times better. But, I made my punch of cream and I put it in, and here's the thing where I say, you know, growing up West Indian, and maybe this is not a West Indian thing, but a lot of West Indians I know did this. But when you're making something, you put it in whatever empty container you have. So you might have some curry, and I can't believe it's not butter tin. You might have some punch of cream and a gallon of the bottled water or the orange juice that you finished last week. You just, we are, we recycle. Okay, we are efficient people. But <laughs> that's not always great for presentation. So I went to this party with this like big, like ghastly looking um, bottle of big gallon of like old Poland spring water, um, but with a delicious punch of cream inside. And everyone else came with like, you know, beautiful glasses and, and things like that. And I was like, note to self. Like if you're, you know, want to entertain or, you know, kind of take things up a notch and not have to spend so much money, these are beautiful. And that's one of the things I love Ikea for. You know, it's not just, you know, furniture that you put together wrong and got to take it apart and it breaks down, you know. Ikea's got some gems, so don't sleep. Now, again, speaking of presentation, I wound up getting two, actually two of these bags. I think I might get more. I love this print. You guys know how, I, how much I love prints. This was $2.99, so three bucks. I picked up two of them. Now, you're not gonna be able to put, you know, something completely heavy in here, but like anytime like you're just like throwing stuff in and you need to transport a bag, or if like maybe you're doing laundry, although, you know, not much laundry is gonna fit in here, but if you're someone who does your laundry, I don't know, every few days or so, or you don't, you know, you don't have much clothes, this might be a cute laundry bag to like take to the laundromat. Um, that's for my New Yorkers. Or it can just be like, whatever you wanna put in it. The reason why I got these is because when I'm taking pictures with Rose, a lot of times like I'll have my shoes, my accessories, you know, my makeup, all that other stuff. So this was just something I picked up to like just throw all that stuff in there. And it zips too, so 
That's really cool. Zips up. Maybe if you're doing like a summer picnic, you know, you go into the beach or something. Um, very inexpensive, um, very cute. You don't want to put anything too heavy because I do think that like, you know, the bottom will kind of like, kind of like bottom out and that's not a good look, but this was kind of cute. Again, it was at the thirst trap, you know, display at the checkout. And I was like, oh, <laughs> let me get one of those. So that's what I got. Next up, I got these baskets. Like I said, a lot of these Swedish names, I'm not even trying to pronounce. Make sure you look at the screen and you look at the description box because if anything's available online, I'll link it there. Um, so you can shop and figure out, you know, all that stuff. But I love decorative storage. So I have this area, um, my bedroom is here, then I have my office, which is next door, then there's the bathroom, and then there's a linen closet, which is filled with hair products. <laughs> and there's like this little corner that I was like, oh, I need to do something really chic right there so that it's like, you know, Mango Lottie is really junky right now. It's, it's so junky. I don't know why I be so junky sometimes. But that little area is really junky. I'm going to, I'm trying to get it organized and sorted through, which is why I bought two of these things. Um, what I use that little area for, because it's so close to the bathroom and then the, I'm trying to get the linen. I gotta get a lot of stuff together, y'all, man. But anyway, um, because I've been doing, you know, a whole bunch of different hairstyles in quarantine, you know, I'm a little part-time hairstylist, don't look too close to the hair because, you know, there might be, you know, some, some parts that I didn't mean for you to see. So, you know, back up a little bit, but, you know, I'm still like a little part-time hairstylist, you know, give me my flowers. But I've accumulated a lot of, like, hairpins, combs, brushes, um, clip-ins, uh, ponytails. Like, there's so much hair stuff in addition to like the wigs and stuff that I like to wear. You know, storage for some of that stuff is a little crazy. Now, I'm not gonna be putting like ponytails and stuff like that in here. What I'm thinking, depending on how much space is in here and how big like my curling irons and like my flat irons are, I might stick those in here. If not, I've got a gazillion other things that can go in here like combs, brushes and things like that, maybe bigger hair accessories. Um, and just kind of stick them in here, close it up because it's not, um, I like I like storage that is serving a function, so it's storing things, but it's also fashionable, which this is quite fashionable. I'm very obsessed with rattan. Um, I might need to, you know, talk to a professional about my obsession with rattan, but um, something like this I love because when your stuff is out, that's when it looks like the most cluttered and junky, and trust me, I, whew, so much of my life has spent Cluttered and junky, but I'm, I'm getting I'm getting to where I need to go. You know, I'm getting to where I need to go, um, and this <laughs> this is gonna kind of help me there. Yeah, and again, if you're looking for the names and all that other stuff, pay attention to the screen, and if it's available, I'll link it below. And by the way, these were $14.99 each, so cute and not a bad price at all. These Moda placemats, they were 59 cents each, some sort of like special pricing that they had going on. Um, this is really cute. Now, I didn't buy this for it to be a placemat. Initially, I bought this because, you know, as a content creator, sometimes you're always thinking of like, what can I, you know, you need stuff to like for a flat lay or, you know, if you're doing a certain video or something. And I was just like, this is too cute. But then when I got it home, I was like, wait a minute now, this is a nice, uh, <laughs> this is a nice placemat. So I might actually, although I don't really sit at the table to eat, I mean, you know, maybe one day I might have some people over and be like, come sit by my, my place bed. I keep saying that I'm gonna learn to, not, I, I know how to cook. I'm just not great with like the presentation. So I keep saying that I wanna have a dinner party, invite my friends over um, and you know, like cook, like cook mad delicious good foods for them. But I keep saying like I gotta work on my presentation and then I get sidetracked with other things. And then one day, if, if you have dinner parties at home, um, you know, talk to me about it in the comments. But until then, these are my Moda placements. They had a bunch of different kind of like, um, uh, I guess you could say designs of these. So 59 cents a piece. I think the original price was like $2 or something like that. I hope when I go that they're still 59 cents because that would be great. Because I got to go back in there and get other things anyway, so. 
All right, so next up, this is a piece that I'm like, girl, why didn't you just get another one? But I was already, I was online and I was thinking, dang, I should have got another one of these trays. But I was like, this line is long and, but it's also moving. So I'm like, I don't want to take a chance. And then, you know, something happens in like, I don't know, some lady's like losing her S-H-I-T online and it's holding up the whole thing. And then I got to start all over again. And it's like, nah, I just want to get in and get out. Um, but it's okay that I forgot because I also want to get a couple of other things from Ikea. But I got this tray, super cute. Like this is something maybe, you know, I'm, I gotta figure out what, what's going where, but this is just something I bought that I can put like, um, you know, like the, the banana clip, like the, is it called a banana clip? I think it's a banana clip. You know, the things that you put that it, it's like a clamp and it sections the hair. What's the name of that? Put it in the description, in the description box, in the comments. Um, but maybe I'll put like a couple of those kind of things in here. Maybe some combs and brushes, you know, things that I use often so that, you know, I can just take this out of, and I'll show you guys the little um, piece of furniture that I bought from Ikea earlier in quarantine, because, you know, just sitting here by some being bored. Uh, uh, so that way when I go, I can just take this out of that, that piece and then, you know, bring it into the bathroom and I'll have like whatever it is that I need to do my hair for the day. But I definitely, I I'm probably going to get maybe three more of these. I'd rather have more than what I need than have to go, you know, back to Ikea. Because Ikea, even if you just know what you want and you just want to get in and out, there is no going in and out. You're like, oh, let me just check one more thing. So I'd rather have more and then if anything be like, you know, if I have a friend who wants one, then I'll just give it to them because... Anyway, this is super cute. This was $5.99. And you can use this, I mean, you can use this for like anything. On the receipt, it says it's a napkin holder. Um, so you can use it for that as well. Like if you want to put this on your um, dining room table or maybe a, a kitchen table. Um, I think this might be durable enough for it to be like outdoor. So this summer while we're, you know, pretending that we're traveling, but we're traveling to like the backyard or the balcony or the terrace. Um, I think this is durable to be outdoor as well. So yeah. Next up, now I do have something that I regret buying, <laughs> buying, and you know I got all happy when I saw like the colorful um, bedding on display. So this is a bedding set that I I'm not even gonna try to say that word. No, ma'am, you ain't getting me. <laughs> but. It's beautiful in color. It's not as vibrant as I thought it was gonna be. It looked more vibrant on display. Um, but also, like, it's like too literal. Like, I've got, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed. For one, you can see like there's some like palm print back there on that pillow. You know, I've got that. And then I've got some other like, you know, a few other like plant elements in here. They're not all the same plant and none of them are real. Like I've got um, a succulent. Um, a cactus, like a bunch of really cute like fake plants that I've gotten from Target over the years. This one here um, are actual individual leaves that I got from Michaels. And then I got a vase. This was a clear vase and I just spray painted it matte black. And then put a whole bunch of like, um, I went to Home Depot and got like the gravel rocks and stuck that in there. So that was like a DIY situation. Now all of a sudden, everyone's making great fake plants because back when I did that, I was like, I can't find anything that I like. But anyway, I've got so much like little plant motifs going around, which look good in the room. But adding this was just like too literal. And I'm like, wow, oh, my friend Brian this. But this was $29.99. It's a duvet cover with um, two pillowcases. I'm tr I'm tr I need to go on Pinterest. It's not so much that I need to go on Pinterest because I kind of have an idea of what I want with my bedding. My bed is, I can, I'll insert a picture of my bed because there's some pictures when it was actually clean in here. <laughs> but my bed has like this, um, like I have a very Scandinavian theme in here. So the um, headboard is wooden and my sheets are all white. So it's like it, all of it flows in the room, um, but I want a little something different with the bedding. 
Initially, I had one of those beds where it's like, oh, I had a whole bunch of pillows, but then that got annoying because every night before bed, I would like throw them to the side. And then in the morning, it's like, oh, I gotta put this crap back on the bed. So I'm, I don't think I'm like a, I like style bedding, but I don't want too much on it. So I think what I probably need is like, I've seen like this golden yellow kind of colored throw that some um, Scandinavian designs use. I might get something like that and then maybe get some like printed pillow that kind of goes with the flow. I don't know, we'll see. Cause I need to do something different with this bedding cause it's just boring me. Like I like the white, I'm gonna keep the white sheets and the white comforter, but it needs like, you know, another layer, another something cool on there. So we'll see. And then the last thing I bought which I will have to, you know, show you in B-roll because I'm not picking that up, <laughs> is this, and is it a name that I can pronounce? Gamlaholt? <laughs> it's, it's sort of like an ottoman. It's actually something that I was trying to buy when we were in quarantine because I probably made like two or three Ikea orders um, during quarantine. Um, but it, it was available, but not available for whatever reason. It couldn't ship it to me. So when I saw it in the store, I was like, oh, okay, good, let me get it. Now, it doesn't really have any purpose for me other than like I bought it because I'm like, Oh, I mean, you know, this will be kind of cool to take pictures, um, since especially when we're in the house more often. And like, you know, I don't want everything to look, well, it's gonna look the same because it's the same place, but you know, at least kind of add little elements to make it look a little bit different. But this is actually pretty cool. You can, you know, put your, you know, put your feet up on it. There's also space inside where you can kind of like stick um, some magazines or, yeah, I guess magazines, because. You know, why would you put books in there? But I mean, if you wanted to put books in there, who's actually stopping you, right? Who's going, who is going to check you, boo, okay? But um, yeah, I really love it. It was super easy to put together because all you had to do was attach the two legs and stick the little sticky things on the foots of the, on the foots, on the feet <laughs> of, of the feet, the bottoms of the feet and boom, you were good to go. So that is what I got from Ikea. I am excited to go back because I need, you know, some more trays. I definitely want to get, I definitely want to get more of these um, placemats and I want to get a small rug for by my bed. I have one there. It's one of those like, um, what is that called? It's faux fur, but it's like fluffy. I think I want something more kind of like boho. So I wanted to switch that out because I wanted something that's a little bit more boho. Um, I'll show you the rug that I wound up getting um, back in quarantine with one of my 50 million other Ikea orders. Um, I don't wanna get something exactly like that, but I want like a round rug, maybe something in like a tannish kind of color, maybe something that's kind of like Breton looking. I don't know, we'll see when I get to Ikea. But leave me comments below. Since we've been in quarantine, have you been making any changes to your home decor? Follow me on social, the links will be in the description box. And like I said before, links to anything that I bought that's available online will be in the description box, so make sure you check that out. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.